Hello and welcome to technical MEP information. Today we will discuss how we will take the duct area and parameters from very easy way with, without using any formula. So let us start it. So before starting I would like to inform you that my YouTube channel technical MEP information. This is channel is about technically and MEP information channel so sometimes I upload the video for the technically or sometimes I upload the video for MEP re related so let's start it here we have uh, two methods someone like to add quantities with fittings or uh, someone like quantities without fittings for example if you want to calculate without fittings so reducer and elbows don't include it you will take the dimension from the edge the duct and the other edge if you want to count with fittings so you have to you have to calculate between your fittings you have to you have to calculate between the fittings to the end of this fittings because we are counting fittings including our duct area so this is a supply air duct SAD supply air duct and the first is 650 is it's a matrix system file it is in mm 650 multiplied by 200 mm so 650 means um, it's a width 650 is a width and the height is 200 a length you will mention there so height and width there is this is the width and the height is 200 so in AutoCAD 2D drawings you have you will see only for the width the height you will not able to see in the 2d drawings this excel file you will find in the description you can download it and you can modify as per your uh, convenience here the first value we have uh, 400 so i will count i will add here 400 mm it's a width and the height is 200 and my length is 6 1110 1110 it's a 6.1 meter something and the next next is uh, 650 multiplied by 200 650 is a weight and the height is 200 and the length is 7660 let's take two three examples so I will tell you further detail what had happened for that so next two three example is that is 650 and the next is 200 and the length is 2 meter 300 and both are is a ground floor this is your floor location this location and floors and um, its width will be calculated in meter in width meters 0.4 this is divided by um, a thousand this value divided by a thousand because I need the value in uh, meters it's a width in meters height in meters and the length in meters so parameters uh, parameter is that two times width and two times height when you calculate this two times width and two times height is it will it will comes the parameters so how we will calculate here summary two times width and two times height will be calculated so 1.2 is a parameter for this duct piece so the area area is length multiplied by parameter so the length is this one you have the width you have the height you will get the parameter the parameter multiplied by length it will count the area after that I added here 10 percent extra amount if you don't want the 10 percent extra amount you just only you just only delete these columns and then carry on this is our 10 percent value because um, this is our 10 percent I just pick this value plus 10 percent and this value is appears before is 10 uh, 7.33 and after 10 percent add 8.07 and the quantity sometimes if you have the parallel ducts parallel ducts with the same height same width and the same length so you can just um, simply insert the two two piece of quantities 
and you will get the 2 multiplied by 2 the total area. In my case I have all values same is a 1 quantity so I will keep same the 1. The total area uh, total area of this piece is 7.33 meters. So I can say here that this piece this 400 multiplied by 200 it is a metric system this is in mm. So in this piece from here including this fitting from here to the between of this fitting is my area is 7.33 meters 7.33 meter square sorry for that 7.33 meter square. So this is a supply air duct same here same happened here you can calculate all these values is same method. So I will explain you why we will separate supply air duct fresh air duct and um, return air duct. So because the reason is that supply air duct and um, return air duct have a insulation. So we have to separate the insulated duct and um, without insulated like extract air duct and fresh air duct. So we have to calculate it without insulation duct. So SAD supply air duct, ES extract air duct and FAD fresh air duct and RAD return air duct. Return air duct is not mentioning here. So, so, so total insulated duct area is appears here and non insulated duct air when insulate here. So you can download this file from my description and uh, modify it as per you want. So today enough in this video. If you like this video kindly like this video and share to your friends and tell me in comments. So see you in next video bye bye.